Welcome back to another advanced game maker studio tutorial and this time we're gonna do some nice and easy effect which is called chromatic aberration. This is this wiggly thing which you're seeing on the screen and that effect is normally being done with the shader but let's do a little hack here. We don't need shaders for now but of course you can do that with shaders if you're a little bit more advanced. So here we just do it with one object very fast very easy so if you want to know how to do that and hack a little bit stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky swords and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i upload every day a video and if you want to help me out ring that bell and if you really really want to help me out share my stuff because this is how you can show some appreciation and the channel will grow so this is nice so let's get right into the good stuff here this thing no 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 we are a little bit too fast here so basically this is just a little thing an object i put into the room bam and then it does some stuff and you just need a create alarm and a draw but if you're thinking wait a minute but what is chromatic aberration basically it's quite easy as you can see you have let's say one image and it consists of three channels which is the red green and blue channel and for example we can like disable one channel or disable two channels and as you can see if you mix them you get different results and if you mix all three together bam you got your image so, so this is how sprites are being drawn in game maker they have a green uh, the red a green and the blue channel and then alpha which is just transparency so if you just take out one of those guys here and this one let's say we put to the top left and this one to the uh, bottom right and the red one somewhere else then you have three images which are kind of overlapping and creating this cool effect which is just called chromatic aberration so how can we actually do that in game maker studio well not too difficult so let's kill that stuff and here we start with a very very easy thing we go and do a command in our draw event which is called gpu set color right enable and here you if you put uh, f1 in it won't be helping you too much so <laughs> let's ignore that here you have the red the green the blue and the alpha channel and as you can see it's all ticked to one but for example if you are well saying and giving those zero values the alpha you can ignore um, and say for example you draw something and then resetting it because you need to reset it later on so let's go for one 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 then you create well you draw the sprite but only with one channel which is the red one for example move x to have that yeah so let's put it in i will just explain the move Thing a little bit later because this is just how you create this aberration and as you can see aha uh -huh, you are only drawing the red channel which are those things here and as you can see that already looks kind of nice so if you want to have like a ghostly effect this is how you can do that so basically what we are doing here we just create that for all the three channels so we do something like this x1 uh, y1 and copy paste that again looks a little bit all similar because it kind of is and what i'm just changing I, all those three um well sprites which i'm drawing will be having some random move x and move y variables assigned so you create this wiggly effect um there but this in a few seconds and here as you can see i'm ticking on the red channel now i'm saying i want the next one but this one gonna be ignored and here for the last one then we have red green blue and then we tick off tick on the blue and for example once we started because we haven't we are not moving anything you should see something like this uh -huh. nothing special as you can see the whole thing is being put with three channels together and then well you got the original thing but this is boring because actually we want to do some action here here I, and this is the last part 
I just define, well, initialize my move x1, x2 and x3. So basically these are just the positions to uh, reset the position of each sprite with uh, one channel. And then I set off an alarm and in my alarm I do not too many things, I just reset the alarm again. So for example, if you want to have your chromatic aberration a little bit faster or slower, you just increase or decrease that number. But here, every five steps, bam, we make the aberration. And here, no, that's wrong. I set the range and then I do something like this and then I messed it up again because I completely wrote it wrong. One second, fast, fast, fast. So basically what you're seeing here, I just give the X and Y positions random values between my range, which is two. For example, if you want to have a bigger chromatic aberration, let's say, I don't know, let's put in 10. But this will look kind of very, very distraught. Um, yeah, and then we are pretty much finished here because that's it. As you can see, this <laughs> chromatic aberration looks, yeah, a little bit more chaotic. But if you want to do that, well, this is how you steer it. So once again, I have an alarm, have some X and Y positions, which are going to get reset every time the alarm hits. Then I reset the alarm, give it some range, which I just well set once because I don't need it. And then here, every time I give new well position numbers to the sprite, which I'm drawing. So. This is the sprite every time which I'm drawing. It's the same, but with different positions on a different channel. This is how you do it. You just take one channel, then you reset it to all the channels, bam, and we are done. So hopefully that was of interest to you and you learn something because that effect or that uh, channel thing you can use for some overlay things which are coming in the future. So. That was it, have a good one, one up indie.